What is the soap opera effect? Welcome to Electric, where I bring you electronics for the electronics freaks. Do movies look so real they look fake? Like Joan Rivers' plastic surgery. Is there something you don't like about your TV's image? but cannot pinpoint the problem? Like a video game that just doesn't play right because the controls are slightly slow. This is most likely the soap opera effect. It's what makes your TV's image look like a super cheap soap opera, thus its name. Let's go over what it is, what it does, and how to turn this painful to look at feature off. Like that thing you went home with last night after a few too many. This feature on your TV is called Motion Smoother, Motion Interpolation, or MEMC, standing for Motion Estimation or Motion Compensation. Some people don't notice anything, probably because they're addicted to the horrid things called soap operas. This is beside the point. This is a feature that needs to be destroyed, like that annoying fly that keeps flying past your face while you're trying to talk to that cute girl or guy that you just met at the coffee shop. This evil feature was developed to decrease or remove the perceived motion blur on LCD TVs. All LCD TVs have a difficult time with motion resolution. This is getting better slowly, but this is still not the case today. This means that if an object is in motion on screen, it's likely to be less detailed or blurry compared to a stationary object. Higher refresh rate LCD TVs were created to combat this problem, but this comes at a price. For these high refresh rates to be effective, they need new real frames to insert in between the original frames. This is done by the TV's processor, by guessing what will happen between the original frames. These new frames are a sort of hybrid of the frame before and after, kind of like taking a before pick and after pick 1 60th of a second later and smashing them together to make some sort of Frankenstein picture. This in turn reduces motion blur. Content like sports, and video games work well with this feature. The interesting thing is that movies are still in their archaic 24 frames per second with few exceptions. Though this has become the norm because the audience demands it and are used to it. This is because the blurring is associated with an act of fiction. This effect messes with this cadence. By creating new frames between the 24 original frames, it causes it to look like 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second content. In other words, it makes movies, 24 frames a second, look like soap operas, 30 to 60 frames a second. And thus, a name is born. Every TV company has a different name for the effect. Sony Motion Flow, Samsung Auto Motion Plus, Sharp Aquamotion, Toshiba Clear Frame, or Clear Scan, Vizio Smooth Motion, and LG True Motion. This is just a short list, and I'm sure you can see the trend brewing here like a wildfire, ready to cause some serious mayhem. While reducing motion blur is the main reason this processing exists, the possibly beneficial side effect is reducing the two to three judder noticeable on fast panes in 24 frame per second content. The process of converting 24 frame per second content for 60 frame per second television involves a two to three sequence. The first frame is shown twice, the second frame three times, the third twice, and so on. This is all due to something called interpolation, and we will speak about that in another video. Because this interpolation causes some juddery and jerky frames, no, not like that dude that bullied you in the second grade, or like beef jerky. Hmm, I could go for some beef jerky right now. People tend to like the soap opera effect to smooth out those frames. Most companies will let you turn this off, and some let you change its intensity. Most people just hate it with a passion. The kind of passion that made John Hinckley shoot President Ronald Reagan to gain the attention of the young Jodie Foster. I still hate Jodie Foster. 
She was good in contact though. Now be warned, this feature has found its way into other TVs, spreading from the world of LCDs like a virus, ready to consume the population. If you like it, good for you. If not, burn it to the ground like Gilbert Grape did to his family home. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.